All right, day three, no four. I don't know, it's a day. Uh, putting on the intake manifold and I just cleaned it up, scrubbed it down some. We're gonna go ahead and finish buttoning it up and then cover stuff up and paint it today. And then we'll start putting on the uh, housing for like the alternator, the brackets and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close. I'm gonna put it on top dead center. I'll stab the distributor, all the fun stuff. We're not gonna do the rear main seal until I have it hanging from the hoist because I, uh, I realized how to put it on after I broke the other one. That way it won't break this time. But yeah, I'm gonna keep cleaning parts and getting stuff installed. Here we go. Okay, so I've been working a lot off camera. Uh, you just start working, working, and forget to record all that crap. So I haven't really done much, honestly. I keep running into a bunch of issues. Um, I installed the distributor, and for the most part, I think it's done pretty dang correctly um, because this rod here actually goes through the engine from the oil pump up to the distributor. It's pretty strange. So to install the oil pump, I have to install the distributor, which is now installed. And then I had to beat the oil pickup into it. You can see the new oil pickup is, <gasps> excuse me, is damaged a little bit. So now I'm gonna mount this, um, and then I'm gonna put the oil pan on top and make sure it's not hitting. It's supposed to be a quarter inch uh, from the bottom of the oil pan. So I'm gonna just set that up. Once that's set, once I you know angle that to where it needs to be, I'll go ahead and install the rest, the um, the baffle inside the oil pan, and then put the oil pan on and might paint it. I think I'm gonna paint it tomorrow. That way, uh, give myself some time. I don't know what time it is. Yeah, it's getting late, getting cold. So tomorrow I can turn the heat on and heat up the block. Just have the heat hitting that. Probably put the paint over there so the paint gets a little warm too. And uh, just get it nice and toasty and Probably flip it over and, and do some tape. Just p try to paint the block in the head and then I will paint the valve covers after that. So, yep, I'm gonna get back to it and flip it over and all that crap. day four finished up pretty much done uh, tomorrow we're gonna paint um, we're gonna paint the valve covers and then actually I'm sorry we're gonna paint the block then the valve covers that way we can sand off whatever overspray we get on the valve covers I'm gonna figure out how to tape it off so we paint it and it comes out okay it's just a quick paint job trying to get it all one color um, Trying to get it all one color, that way it looks good, um, just solid. If there's any oil leaks or coolant or anything, I'll be able to see. But it should be relatively close to timed. I've looked it up. 
uh, stabbed the distributor, got the oil pickup, oil pump in. Um, the oil filter, oil cooler is actually what it is, and it runs these crazy lines all the way to the radiator. It's weird, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people delete it, I guess. So we'll get there if I decide to delete it. I still have to install the uh, rear main seal, which I have what I'm going to use PVC pipe for that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I don't know if I'm going to take off the um, upper intake manifold and reseal it. We never took it off, and it looks pretty sealed, so I don't see why I would go ahead and do that. But uh, everything else is pretty good. I didn't change the thermostat. Um, I might do it. It depends. I'm not really feeling like I need to. Uh, but I am changing the water pump, and I still have the water pump down there, uh, which I'm not installing yet. So tomorrow, I guess we'll paint. We're going to heat it up real good, paint, and then install the front uh, casing, the alternator, all that stuff that comes up here, and uh, power steering, all that, which I just thought about. I'm going to have to scuff that up real good, too. Yep, figure out how to get the pulley off the fan, but, you know, it's pretty much, I'm happy. I'm happy it's done, um, that it's all put together. Sealed up, hopefully no leaks. Uh, my excitement's really gonna hit once we uh, crank it over and it runs. But I'm not gonna have any exhaust, I'll just have the headers, so it's gonna be really freaking loud. But uh, yeah, super excited. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're gonna get more content, and I have a few more days I can work on it before it'll. you won't get more content for like a week, two weeks. Uh, just because I'm so busy and then I'll be flying out of town for a couple weeks So it's gonna be super busy, but I'm glad I can get this where it's pretty much ready Springtime is when I'm really gonna hit it and I'm actually gonna spring uh, I'm actually gonna paint the s10 and uh, The blocks kind of gonna give you a little preview of what I might do with the truck. So stay tuned guys Thanks for watching later All right day four uh, Gonna prep this again Make sure everything's good to go. And then I'm gonna turn the heat on, probably for about an hour, maybe 30 minutes. I'm just gonna keep it on the whole time though. Warm up the metal, get it ready so I can go ahead and paint it. So I'm gonna get started. Tons of progress today. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I don't know. I wish I knew bigger words, but I'm fucking stoked at how it came out. Just the green and the black, it just looks amazing. I cleaned up the front a little bit, so it looks decent. Uh, you can't even see the V8 with all the uh, accessories hooked up, but uh, man, it looks good. I can't wait. The top is still a little dirty, but you know. You get what you get. Uh, I think this one was non-AC. Because uh, you can see here. 
this bracket, I don't know if you can see. This bracket is hitting right here. So I have one of two options or two of two options, I don't know. I'm just gonna notch it in. I'm gonna cut it in here, cut it up to here. Just cut that whole piece out. But I'll get to that once I get back from uh, going to pick up my other car. Got the, got the windows tinted, so I'm excited. Hopefully it looks good. But, oh man, got the new headers on, the motor mount swap kit for the S10. I just gotta run the wires still, and uh, spark plug wires, and then the entire wiring harness, which is gonna be a nightmare. But so far, it's great. I gotta do the rear main seal, but that's once I pull this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything. Go run to the store real quick. All right, here we are. Done. Pretty much finished everything up. Uh, there's a few like hoses and vacuum ports that I need to plug for the emissions and other crap, but all that can be done once I drop it in the truck. The only thing I want to actually do is put this pulley on for the water pump. And I don't need the fan, but I can't get the fan off that one without the serpentine belt if you have like a special tool or something. <sighs> and then I need to uh, install, I didn't paint the inside, I just left it primer. Um, I was gonna paint it, but I was like, no, there's no reason to get paint in there, especially, you know, I got it somewhat covered for the crank. I don't wanna get paint on it. So anyways, I gotta put the rear main seal on, but I have to wait till it's on the hoist so I can hammer it in there with uh, the PVC pipe is what everyone always does. So I'm gonna try that, hopefully it works out. I have two rear main seals just in case, brand new. So it's all good, wires are all good. Like, you know, like I said, I'll do the final touches when it's in the car. And, uh, zip tie them together and make them look pretty but uh for the yeah for the most part it's done it's just sitting here on the stand i'm about to uh pull the 240 in you can see i cleaned it up uh, the floor is still going to be gross uh, i'll have to pressure wash it one day but uh yeah i got it all good to go and then this is the other 350 that i end up not using a single part off of which is a bummer i should have pulled it apart instantly because um, the junkyard, excuse me, the junkyard gives you a 30 day money back guarantee. If I would have pulled it, like, oh, there's a rod knock, then uh, I would have probably been able to get some money back. So that's kind of a waste. Uh, altogether, I'm in 560, 540 bucks for both engines, which isn't too bad. And then um, if we talk about, you know, the gasket kit, uh, what else? Paint, brake cleaner. I'm probably in another 500 bucks for everything I needed for this to have it the way it looks now and, and everything be sealed up good. So I'd say maybe 500 bucks. So you're, I'm look, you know, I'm about $1,100 into it, which is uh, kind of a lot. But even if I were to buy that built motor, you know, it was 1,800 bucks plus. I would need all the front pieces, which I got from the other engine that I pulled and um, I would still need stuff. So luckily the headers and the swap mounts, uh, motor mounts for the S10, my buddy, when he sold me the truck, he gave them to me. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much, I'm gonna pull the 240 in and then I'm done. Uh, I still have one more day before I have to go to work. So I was gonna push the S10 out, push it back in and uh, pull the V6, drop it somewhere and then drop the V8 in there. But I kind of want to wait till I get the hood from my buddy so I can put the fenders and hood on. So if when I push it back out there, uh, the rain won't get onto it. Either that or actually it's not going to fit in the garage. It'll fit, but with like, you know, when I have to put the engine in and everything, it's going to stick out. I might be able to put it all the way in and keep it in here and keep the 240 out there or store it somewhere. But I really don't want to do that. So... Um, it's just kind of a waiting game and when I feel like doing all the work I'm tired man it's been four days five days uh, today wasn't too much you know I didn't even get in coveralls because I was just cleaning up these parts and putting these on which is very simple I didn't videotape it I didn't record it but it's just a few bolts and then I put the pulley here and then I realized I looked at the schematic and or what the diagram whatever 
realize the idler pulley goes there. And so for the most part, it's pretty simple. Four bolts to hold this in. Uh, nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm going to pull a 240 in and call it a day, clean up and, you know, clean up the house, maybe mop and sweep, do some housework since I've been out here neglecting the rest of my life for a few days. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully a couple weeks, maybe after Christmas, I'll end up uh, swapping this into the S10 and maybe starting it. But like I said, we'll get there when we get there. Just stay tuned. I'll let you guys know when I post another video. Thanks.